Okay, new project. It's going to be a street tracker project, and as you can see, the base of it is going to be a VT500 Ascot. Again, it's not a bike that uh, at the time was popular uh, in the UK, but certainly now and in the last sort of year or so, they've become increasingly popular. Again, they're going to be imported from the US and it, it, again it's to it's to fit in with the trend for building street trackers which is a good thing now talking to people who are in the know much more knowledgeable than me about the markets the VT engine is now seen to be um, the new CX500 for want, of, for want of a better way of expressing it um, CX500 used in so many different customs of course but the consensus is that the VT is, is the new way to go. Again, there, there are variants of these. There's a kind of a street brake. Um, there's a, a cruiser type. But again, this is obviously one that was in principle based on a flat tracker. Because of the popularity of the, the VTs now, or the increasing popularity, the price of these has really gone up uh, in, in the UK. There is a sort of... A, companion bike to it which was the FT which is a single and they're fetching uh, even more money I paid more than I wanted to for this really I suppose as a Yorkshireman we always pay more than we want to um, but again it's just to the it's because of the increase in uh, popularity so looking to tell the story of the build uh, in three parts uh, part one which is this which would be the recommission part two will be the dry build so any custom work or any modifications we do we'll do it in part two and then part three will be uh, the final bike in paint running riding um oh, and the job done really in each of those three video parts where i think it's significant enough i'm going to make some tutorial videos um of you know perhaps working on the, on the bricks um, certainly going through certain elements of the engine and, and definitely um, the cleaning of the fuel system in particular the carbs the other thing that needs to happen again with, with the recommission um, it has to be made road legal for the UK now by road legal we, the bike will have to pass an MOT for those who are not in the UK an MOT is a certificate of roadworthiness bikes of a certain age have to go through an MOT and be retested every year because this is an import it's going to be first registered in the UK um, and that's why we need to get an MOT I, I think it's a good thing as well it's quite a basic um, test by, by an approved tester uh, but it is at least something I've done one or two um, little jobs on the bike already I, I have removed the brakes the brakes were uh, the brake caliper was seized they almost always are on a bike that's been stood and this bike has been stood um, I also replaced the coolant that was in I didn't want to start running the bike up and not know if it had coolant in so that one's been done um, the bike does run uh, I, I've had it running it wasn't running well and not not surprisingly but I just kind of wanted to prove to myself um, that it was running it was going to be viable but we'll come back to that so the thing to do for this recommission is, is literally work your way through the bike or, or I'll be working my way through the bike um, from front to back checking bearings checking for wear certainly check the engine the engine is probably going to be one of the first things that i check um, if the engine's okay good if the engine's a bad engine i've bought a very expensive boat anchor but let's let, let's hope it's uh, just a case of fettling the engine as well as the engine of course there's quite a lot of running parts as i mentioned we'll check in, we'll check bearings um, what i like to do wherever possible um, is reuse parts you know so refurbish parts that said if any new parts are needed i don't have a problem in fitting new parts as well so the thing to do is actually now get on with the bike as i mentioned um where i think there's some significant work we'll we'll produce a for want of a better term a tutorial video and you should be able to link that from this part one video just to see how we did things there so i'll get on with the bike and uh well, see you on the other side and bye for now